What's up guys? It is Friday. Before we get into the video, I have a super, super, super exciting announcement that I want to share with you guys. You probably already know what I'm about to tell you, but a lot of you guys have been leaving comments and asking me, Karen, when is your app going to be available? Where is it? I've been talking about it a ton and I have really great news. It is finally available. I've been waiting forever for approval from Apple and just got word today that I have the thumbs up and it is now available for download on both iPhone and on Android. So I am so excited. All you have to do is click the link in the description box where it says click here to download my app or you can just search Best Me by Karen or search my name Karen Nicole in your app store. I hope that you guys love this as much as I do. I hope that you find it as valuable as I think that you will. I put tons of time, tons of effort and just heart, soul and passion into this project and I'm just so excited to have another platform and another tool to really be able to help you guys along your fitness journeys. I think that you guys are going to love it. So please go check it out. Go download it. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments, leave your feedback. I'm going to be adding updates and new features as we go. And I'm going to be taking into consideration all of your guys' comments and feedback and things that you guys want to see. So definitely let me know what you guys like, what you would like to see in future updates. And with that being said, I hope that you guys love it. And we are one day out from the Arnold Classic Australia. So let's get into the video. It is Thursday at like six o'clock in the morning and Narman and I just texted each other. She's here. Hey, Narman. Morning. We texted each other at like 6 a.m. I actually, both of us woke up at four and I forced myself to go back to sleep for like an hour uh, just because the, the time difference is so weird. It's like noon in California. Yeah, super jet lag, but like I feel good. Like I have like Me energy. Too. I don't know, but it's super early. So she's like, I'm like, are you awake right now? She's like, yes. So we're just chilling. We made some coffee in the room. The coffee in Australia is like on another level of so amazing. Good. It's so good. Tell them about that burger spot that I found yesterday. Oh my gosh. It was called Burger Love, right? Oh my God. So Norman and I spent a solid amount of time yesterday looking at post show food places on Instagram. And she found this place called Burger Love. Like that's just I I don't that's think I could do too that. much even burger that's gonna be covered in cheese. Whoa. Good morning, hi, this is Chris. Hi, yes. Can I place an order off the uh, pro athlete menu? Hello. Hi, can I place an order off the pro athlete menu? Um, I would just like one order of the steamed chicken breast, 200 grams, and then one order of the steamed whitefish, 200 grams. Yes. And could you um, please bring that in like uh, in the Tupperware containers rather than on a plate? That'd be great. Uh, it's 6.09. Okay, great. Thank you. Bye. I am about to have my second meal of the day and then we are going to head to the gym to train. I've got another full body lift today and then 30 minutes of cardio. I am going to be having some white fish and some white rice. So this is my pre-workout meal and I will catch you guys at the gym. Guys, back again with Norman. You're gonna see a lot of her in my vlogs this week. Yes, but and I'm finally vlogging, so I, I, yeah, she I told her, I'm like, she needs to start vlogging. So I'm gonna actually link Norman's YouTube channel in the description box below. So you guys go check out Norman's channel. Make sure you subscribe to her it's as well. It's still really new, it's not like Karen's, but I will get Gotta there. start somewhere. I started I with one vlog too, and now we're here. I know. <laughs> and she's teaching me how to edit my own video. I did. We so did a little, be... um, we did a little YouTube video editing tutorial this, this morning. morning. <laughs> and it was really... Forgot to show you guys. Yeah, Jeremy finally arrived. Oh, hi. Say hi to YouTube, Jeremy. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> number, number we are trying to figure out how to get to the gym. To the gym. Hopefully we make it there. <laughs> You can't always win, but don't be afraid of making decisions. You can't be paralyzed by fear or failure, or you will never push yourself. 
You keep pushing because you believe in yourself and in your vision. And you know that it is the right thing to do and success will come. So don't be afraid to fail. When I feel pain, that's when I start counting because that's when it really counts. That's what makes you a champion. It is important to have fun in life, of course. But when you're out there partying, horsing around, someone out there at the same time is working hard. Someone is getting smarter and someone is winning. Just remember this. Trust yourself. Break some rules. Don't be afraid to fail. Ignore the naysayers. Work like hell and give something back. Church, I like bleach, man. Why you had the stupidest verse? This dude is the truth. Now everybody giving them death spots and stocks through the roof. I heard you fucking with that stuff. 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, 100% reason to remember the name. Look who's here, my girl Angelica. She just won the Arnold Classic, y'all. She is on Instagram, and I will put her Instagram handle right here on the screen so you guys can head over to her page and congratulate her because she's Thank she's you. So happy she's here. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Important today is making sure I'm getting 
putting in as much water as I possibly can. I am shooting for two gallons today. That's gonna wrap up our final workout before the show. Catch you guys very soon. All right guys, with the crew, Norman, Jeremy, Jason, and I'm going to ask each of the guys a question for you guys. Jason, your biggest piece of advice for someone during peak week, peak week advice. Okay, well there's a lot of advice, but I'll, I'll just do two things that you might not think of. One thing I recommend is get a massage the Monday of your peak week because no, it will uh, kind of drop your cortisol levels, help push out fluids, and also just de-stress you and relax you for the week to come. Tell them why it's important to keep your cortisol levels low during peak week. Cortisol levels can uh, increase fat, they can uh, cause your muscle to catabolize, so you can lose muscle, and you just won't look as good on stage. So a very zen and you know, very good vibe, energy type place like a massage, a good massage therapist or a good massage spa can just ease that and drop cortisol levels and just give you a peace of mind. If you think you have less cortisol levels, sometimes you have less cortisol yeah. levels. And so my second tip is just, for me, don't drop salt too early. A lot of people get rid of salt, like the whole prep. And then your peak week, you're very salt sensitive. So Monday and Tuesday, I like, I don't add a ton of salt, but I definitely don't deplete salt Monday and Tuesday. So if you deplete your salt too soon, it can release a st another stress hormone besides cortisol, which is called aldosterone. It's called saltazol. <laughs> aldosterone is another stress hormone that will cause you to retain water. So it's important to keep salt in your diet. If you cut it out too soon, aldosterone will increase. Therefore, you'll retain a lot more water. So important. And Jeremy, can you give one piece of advice for somebody who's prepping for their first show? It's consistency, you know? It, prep is a time where you gotta be perfect, you know? You guys are competing against other great athletes that are giving it their all all the time. And if you aren't on your game at all times during prep, you might get passed up by the competitors. So it's very important to stay on point, making sure that you're crossing your T's and dotting your I's, making sure you're getting all your cardio, not missing meals, and uh, just being very accountable to yourself. So that's my best advice is accountability and um, also to enjoy it. That's another thing. If you aren't having fun, there's no point in doing this. That's so important. Yeah. And guys, this is coming from the champ. Three time, Mr. Olympia. So listen up. <laughs> Back in the room, I got this super cute Doherty's Gym crew neck sweatshirt. Had to get a souvenir. And I'm just having my post-workout meal. So hungry. Just some chicken and some white rice. Still chugging along here. And then after I eat this meal, I am going to get ready for our Meet the Pros event. So very excited about that. I am about to head down for the Meet the Pros meet and greet. This is what I am wearing. It's just a little black romper, some wedge booties. Ow, just hit my head. <laughs> I'm wearing this just loose fitted romper so that I don't smudge my tan. Tried to dress it up a little bit with some of these wedge booties. We are on the bus with all the rest of the athletes and we're all talking mostly just about the food we want to eat. The food that we want to eat after the show. What's the one thing you want post-show, Norman? More than anything. You're not all of my stash of candy that I'm your candy stash? Yes. What's the one thing you want post-show? Tim Tams. What's the one thing you are craving? The number one thing you want post-show? Oh, yeah. Uh, burger. Janet? Oh, there's a burger. Pizza. Pizza. My number one thing right now, burger and sweet potato fries and wine. I want wine. Oh, I've been yeah. staring at the little bottle of wine that's sitting in the mini fridge. I want it. I'm probably gonna drink it. Let's, let's be real. <laughs>
back in the room just got back from check-ins and from the meet the pros meet and greet which was so amazing unfortunately my battery died and I wasn't able to get too much footage there but just thank you so much to everybody that came for all of your well wishes and your good luck wishes and just your kind words and your encouragement and your positivity and your hugs and your smiles I honestly loved meeting every single one of you guys so thank you so much. I'm running on pure just like adrenaline and excitement and just like joy from meeting everyone at the event tonight. And that's what's keeping me awake right now. But I'm definitely, definitely tired. But I did get my number for the show. I am number 19. There are 27 bikini pros in the show this weekend. And Honestly, this show is just so much more than a placing for me. Obviously, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to bring my best and I'm going to have so much fun on stage. Personally, I already feel so accomplished just being here and having the honor to step on the Arnold Classic stage. My goal at this show is to beat my best. And last year at the Arnold Classic at this show, I placed 12th, which I was so happy with. I was in the top half, which was great, out of some of the best bikini pros in the entire world. So that was just an honor in itself. And so I'm shooting to beat my best last year, beat that top 12 placing. And I'm going to give it my all, you guys. I'm just honestly so excited and so happy to be here that regardless of the outcome, I honestly just feel like I've already won. So... Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching another video. You can probably see it in my eyes and just everything. I am exhausted. I'm going to wash off this makeup, put on some sweats, and hopefully crash out for the night and hopefully not get up at 4 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for being here for another video and just for all of your support. You guys seriously mean the world to me and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next vlog. So remember to hit that thumbs up button on your way out and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And it is time to pass out. Good night, guys. Mwah!